now Agreed. a little dowsing. Dows what? There's no soy sauce in this dish. And this is another example of Western trained chefs just taking random Asian ingredients and throwing them together thinking they're making Asian food. This is not correct. And I really hope she's not putting it directly into the f***ing noodles. No, no, yep. no, yep. don't douse. She knew it. I, uh, no liquid should go into some yep. row. Chef Ryan Sao here, not your typical chef, owner of Mission Sandwich Social located right here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And today I'm gonna be reacting to Uncle Roger Hate. Nigella Lawson spring rolls. Nigella Lawson is Uncle Roger's favorite milf mother I like to fry rice for. Last time she messed up ramen. Today yes, she, she did. back making that ramen Vietnamese was bad. summer uh, roll. That looks this bad dish, too. One of the easiest Asian dish to make. Not that I British should be surprised. Chef, so Uncle Roger have a feeling she couldn't have messed it up. My favorite sort of food. Nice outfit. You just it like she planting into what kitchen wall. About these rice paper rolls is that really you can eat them at the table as a starter or just outside with drinks. You can do that with all food. <laughs> some rice paper wraps. Okay. Yeah, rice paper wrap, correct. Some rice vermicelli. Rice vermicelli, correct. Okay. That doesn't look like rice vermicelli though. That looks like a bean thread, which is different. Very similar packaging, but different. That packaging. Ah, you see, the, the packaging with certain Asian ingredients are, is so distinctive from a mile away. I guess the certain American brands as well, like Heinz ketchup, right, or Coca Cola. Yeah, yeah. So I, it make, would make sense, right? There are just certain brands. You know, you can just spot it. You don't have to see the logo. You can just tell from the packaging. And that is bean thread. That is vermicelli. That is not rice noodle. Very different. I think that might be mung bin vermicelli. Yep. Yep. I did this wonderful tangle of herbs and bits of cucumber, which are please in. Oh, what like this that? auntie? What, 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 what's the point of showing her on camera? It's just like, look, I got a minion. <laughs> Summer roll, the only cooking you need it's is the prawn or pork belly right. filling. Right, right, so right, yes, right, right. this dish, not a lot of cooking, mostly assembling. Summer roll is the IKEA of food. A bit of soaking, a bit of chopping, then some rolling. So, is that right type of noodle? Which I mean, it's like pasta made mm. with rice flour rather than wheat flour, really light and wonderful. Why this assistant looks so depressed? It's like she forced to be there. Did she get human trafficked into Nigella oh, kitchen? God. And a bit of water from recently boiled kettle, or even less recently boiled. A bit transparent. I think in wrong noodle. Yeah. And just drain That's definitely bean thread. I mean, you could eat them like that, and they are good. You can see why they're often called cellophane noodles. Cellophane noodle. Okay. Confirm wrong noodle. Yep. Cellophane is another term for mung bean noodle. Mm -hmm. For summer roll, you want rice noodle, there you go. not mung bean yep. noodle. When it cooked, mung bean noodle, more transparent. Yep. Rice noodle, more white. But most importantly, is the, the texture. texture. See, rice yep. noodle, you just break. Yep. But mung bean noodle, too chewy, hard to break apart, bouncing Correct. around. This is something new I'm seeing. I mean, I've reacted to so many Uncle Roger videos, and I like that he's giving this B-roll to show you the difference, and that is exactly it. I have nothing to add. Also, big announcement. Uncle Roger and Nephew Nigel, we're gonna release the Haya Comedy nice. Special on June 4th. This is filmed during our world tour last year. A Uncle great Roger show. even have my own special orange microphone for you. Yeah, shout out to Uncle Roger. I don't mind giving, uh, you know, my channel is obviously way smaller than his, and uh, but I saw the show when he was in New York. I got to hang out with him. G great, cool guy, and a great show. You guys should definitely check it out. Uh, that was not sponsored. Now, Agreed. A little dowsing. Douse what? There's no soy sauce in this dish. There's a side dipping sauce, usually made with uh, some type of acid, you know, lime juice with fish sauce and some chili, not soy sauce. And this is another example of Western trained chefs just taking random Asian ingredients and throwing them together thinking they're making Asian food. This is not correct. And I really hope she's not putting it directly into the noodles. Not only is she using the wrong noodles, 
She's putting it into the noodles. You don't put any. Let's watch. No, no, yep. no, yep. don't touch. She knew it. I, uh, no liquid should go into samuro. Yep. You use sauce as dipping yep. sauce. Don't put any sauce into samuro. It's going to break apart. With spring rolls, I take it back. You can have a variety of different dipping sauces. Like now that I'm thinking about it, you know, there are places that serve it with a peanut sauce and things like that. So, and also that dipping sauce I told you with lime juice and, um, fish sauce and sugar and chilies. That's another one. Yeah, it just, the sauces don't go into the spring roll. No, 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 big no, no, no. If you're enjoying this content, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. But if you wanna be extra nice, consider becoming a patron. By becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes, patron exclusive content, and even extended versions of certain episodes. Be sure to visit the link in the description below for more info. And with that out of the way, fish. What? Again, fish, no, no, Nigella, no. Fish sauce, yes, for the dipping sauce, sauce in not there? in the uh, yeah, noodles. Nigella, you're making all our ancestors cry yeah. now. Yeah. This samaro gonna be too salty. I, uh... For samaro, dipping sauce only. Dipping sauce? Don't put any liquid in there. Love this stuff. And more Here's liquid. My vinegar. Don't put. Me, so I'm being a bit... <sighs> this is tough. Oh, thank Get you. Try to twist it off and they only needed to pop the top. The assistant smiling. She happier now? This is gonna be good video. Forget two girl, one cup. Uncle Roger prefer two auntie. One spring roll. <laughs> Sorry, children. Is <laughs> it just intelligence needed? <laughs> Mint and coriander. I love using Thai basil, but you can't get it everywhere and coriander is wonderfully. Okay. Anyway. The herbs correct. Fine. Thai what basil, coriander. Wait, what? what? Of... Why are you using scissors? Just pluck with finger. Yeah. Use finger. Hey, scissors are a great kitchen tool. Uh, it's also very... I grew up watching my mom cut food with kitchen shears. Uh, but yeah, for the basil, you really don't need that. I can't tell you how many times I've been eat, I was eating at Vietnamese restaurants and then, you know, when it was slow, like 3, 4 p.m. And then the staff is sitting at a table and they're literally just picking basil or scallion or, or whatever herbs that they need for the day. And there was not a single scissor to be found. You're known for your elegant fingering, remember? Remember oh, your ramen weijo? And because it makes life easier. Uh, I don't know how much easier it is than just picking with your hands. You don't, you don't even need to grab anything. That's just more verbal diarrhea. Spring onion. Usually we use garlic chive. Yeah. Spring onion, okay substitute. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Yes, you're supposed to use uh, garlic chive. They take it whole, leave it long, and they insert it into the spring roll or and let it stick out on one side. But I agree, scallion is an okay substitute. Wait, what? Oh, holy sh! They they are making a salad, bean thread salad, essentially, with everything in it. Oh. Cold turkey may go great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. And I'm not talking about voodoo from your crazy neighbor or some strange elixir made who knows where. No, I'm talking about the sponsor of today's video, Fume, and they're looking at the problem in a different way. Not everything a bad habit is wrong, so why take a drastic and uncomfortable change when you can just take bad away from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-nominated device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural delicious flavors. I've actually had my Fume for quite some time now and it has this adjustable air dial as well as magnetics that really give your fingers a lot to play with and keeps you busy, you know, really helping you get rid of the anxiety from letting go of your bad habit. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I ended up uh, enjoying playing with it much more than I thought. And it's very refreshing and a hell of a lot better than chewing on the back of my pens like I've done for years. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you either. Head to tryfume.com or scan the QR code and use the code CHEFBT to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use the code CHEFBT to save an additional 10% off of your order today. What you mixing in bowl for? The ingredient for summer roll? Just 
put in the yes. row and row it up. Yes. What, you're mixing there it in There we go. Both. Shout out to Twee. Uh, I haven't seen that video, but I'm 99% sure her, her uh, spring rolls are going to be perfect. You give white women some green leaf and they all turn it into salad. <laughs> mm. I love these noodles. Mm. They are fabulous, mm. aren't they? And the no, mixing. Oh, need a plate. Disgusting. Ew. Look, look at that mixture, it, it's so brown. That's why you don't put soy sauce in there. The summer roll is supposed to look so pretty. Yeah, there we go. Picture perfect summer roll. That is garlic uh, chive right there. Uh, the shrimp, the boiled shrimp. There's rice vermicelli in there with a side dipping sauce. That is chef's, chef's kiss. Where got summer roll so brown? When it comes to summer roll, white is right. But don't repeat that anywhere else needs any of you. You're gonna get into trouble. Soggy glass noodle, drenched in fish sauce, soy sauce vinegar. Oh, how that gonna be appetizing? Okay, okay. So what's she going to do now? I'm going to... Oh, I think in rice paper time? The same yeah. as I did to those rice noodles and just rehydrate. Yep. Rehydrate, correct. Okay, but that enough, that enough, take it, what, 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 you, where are you going? No, 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 okay, okay, big mistake here. The way you work with rice paper is you literally just soak it for a second, okay? And trust me, that is enough. That is enough water to rehydrate it. You leave it any longer than that, it's going to be impossible to work with. Impossible. It's going to be way too soft. It's going to start to break up on you. It's going to be way too sticky. The reason why you only want to dunk it really quick is number one, that's enough water to rehydrate it, but it's going to give you enough time to work with it because you're going to dunk it for that quick second, maybe even half a second, put it on your working surface and start to assemble your uh, spring roll. By the time you have all your ingredients right there, the spring roll rice paper should be just soft enough where you can really work with it and not struggle too much. That is the key to make Making fresh spring rolls at home. Take it out. Yeah, Hiya. yeah, it's picked up. It's gone. It's shot. Very nice. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. Okay. This is yep. now perfect. They don't need. That is not perfect. Got perfect. It my broken as sh. Yep. Who? My leg has to come down from chair. Rice paper. You put in water. Just like half a second. Yep. That enough? This woman. Put rice paper in water and then suddenly go take a walk. What the hell? The rice paper wetter than Jamie Oliver. <laughs> Fry rice, hiya. How you gonna roll it up? How? And I do them one at a time, otherwise I'm frightened they'll stick together. Yes. Now. You and your assistant going, what the f? In the middle. Okay, over. Oof. How you gonna roll? No bueno. And then just roll it like. That wrong rolling no, method. No, no, where no, you no. Can no. see the herbs and pasta through. Yes. This summer roll off. It's not a burrito. Actually, a burrito is rolled better than that. In fact, if you rolled it like a burrito, it would have been better than this. Generally, you want to take a big handful of that rice noodle and really pack it in there, but it's the rice paper's too soft. If she really tried to pack it in there, the rice paper would break. So not gonna happen. And then... Wait, no, what? Cut it in four. What you're gonna do? Yeah, cut it. Cut it, cut. Like that. Mm -mm. Cut what? No, cut. no, 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 no. Hmm. Who cut summer roll? What is this? Hiya. See, because the rice paper too wet, she can't roll properly. Yeah. So she just makes it. And it's super flat. It should be nice and cylindrical. Ugh, just terrible. Weird flaccid tube, and then she cut it. What? <sighs> Uncle Roger defeated by Nigella. What is this? The most disgusting, flaccid summer roll. Because I've made a bit of a mess here. I'll cut it in three. And who cutting anything on towel? She using towel because the paper too wet. That why? <sighs> Nobody cut summer roll. We just roll it up. Yes, and there we it go. Like you see how cylindrical that is? You see the shrimp. You see the herbs. It's nice. Yeah, that that's beautiful right there. And she's putting the finger on top of the knife. A serrated knife where the blade is thinner or a slicing knife where the blade is thinner, okay, fine, you put your finger on top. But a full-size chef knife like, like that, you put your finger to the side like that. Mmm. Nuto hanging out like that, see? Yeah. Because it wrong because, noodle. Yes. It's too soggy. Well, it's and it's tough. It's much tougher than uh, rice noodles. So she got all this dangling out of her mouth. A rice noodle has a 
bouncier texture versus bean thread. Mung bean noodle has a more thread-like texture, for a lack of a better term, stringy uh, thread-like texture. Not the easiest thing to eat, oh my god. I don't think they can even don't chew blame that. Your food. Blame your own skill. Don't blame the summer roll. Not easy to eat. Oh, great. Get the daughter in. <laughs> Destroy Asian food together. <laughs> Fun family activity. Oof. Don't serve to husband. Serve to trash can. Aiyah, <laughs> niece and nephew. Remember Auntie Tui from my 6 million fur video? She got good tutorial for summer roll on her channel. Go watch that so you cleanse your eyeball. There we go. Oh. The seeing dish. Nigella, if you go to Saigon and you serve this, everybody gonna riot. That was uh, pretty bad. Uncle Roger definitely has a talent for finding terribly made Asian cuisine. Uh, I am going to grade this one 0 out of 10, for sure, without a doubt complete horse of a summer roll, spring roll, whatever you want to call it. Before we close out this special, I do want to give a special shout out to my amazing patrons, Catalina Ruza, Brandon Hernandez, Felix Hansen, and Lucifer Tenebrae. Guys, thank you so much for your support. And for the rest of you, remember, by becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes, patron-exclusive content, and even extended versions of certain episodes. May 26th, we are playing with a very special band. They're called... Hey, I, I didn't memorize the name of this band, okay? What, what, what are they called? Lost Becomes. Lost He Comes? No, 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 Lost Becomes. Oh, Lost... Who's in this band, by the way? Uh, Chef Ryan Sow. Chef... Oh, and he's the one that won that cut? What was that, Iron Chef? No, Beat Bobby Flay. Master Chef? Beat Bobby Flay. Master Chef Jr.? N wrong again. Dude. Oh, good for him, man. Good for you, Bobby Flay. I can't wait to see... Oh, what kind of music do you play? Uh, Chef Metal? Drew, Jack, that's pretty good. All right, I know a song you should cover. Chop Suey. We should cover Chop Suey. The nerve of these guys, they got our band name wrong. He was calling me Bobby Flay. Dude, what kind of band even has a mascot these days? Super lame. Doesn't this bridge dweller know that you make sandwiches? Apparently not. You beat Bobby Flay. Doesn't even know who Bobby Flay is. What band are we playing with? Negro Goblicon? No! Negro Goblicon Friday, May 26th at the Brooklyn Monarch with us, Lost Becomes, in Fairy, Ether Realm, and Hunt the Dinosaur. Visit the link in the description below for tickets. We'll see you there. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And remember, don't be afraid to fail because it can only make you stronger. And with that said, I am Chef Ryan Sound, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon. Hey.